welcome again to InjuryGuru.com. I'm Carla Schimmelfennig, registered physical therapist, and this is the last video and exercise in the arthroscopic knee exercise program number two. Uh, this is uh, just another one of my favorites. Uh, this exercise is called a side and back reach, and that'll make much more sense when I show you. Um, in a minute, I'll just give you a view from my waist down so you can see this exercise real clearly, and I'll show you from uh, two different directions too. Um, but couple rules with this exercise um, as well as the other exercises make sure that you are not um, causing an increase in pain or any sharp pain when you're doing these exercises um, at, when you're going through this um, rehab process or this process after the surgery it is really important that you're not exercising and causing pain you're only going to irritate it cause more swelling and just and really just delay the whole healing process so if you do these nice and easy you're nice to that knee as I usually say to my patients then the knee will be nice to you and this process will go a whole lot faster um, and remember that with all the things that you do or you're doing during the day too so being up too much walking too much going and back to life as usual shopping and working all those things if you're going back to those things too soon it's just going to make this process take longer than it would if you're nicer to that knee and not overdoing it. Um, remember if you have any um, questions or just you think things just aren't going quite right, there's something about the knee that doesn't feel right, um, doesn't look right, then you're probably right. So make sure you give your doctor a call. Your doctor would much rather you give him a call than just let something go. Uh, and make sure if you have a follow-up with your doctor that you're going to, the, to that appointment and so he can just take a look at your knee and make sure that in his eyes and in his view that everything is going smoothly and like it should. So let me show you this side and back reach exercise. When you first do this one, I do want you to try this on your good leg, uh, the non-operated leg, just so you have something to compare it to. So you know what it feels like, you know what normal should be, and how far you can reach and bend that knee. Um, but uh, once you have uh, tested it on your good leg and you're ready to do, the op to do the operated leg, then I want you to stand next to a kitchen counter or have a kitchen chair like I have here, or you can do this next to your kitchen table, just so you, uh, until you know what your balance is like and know if you're going to need something for support. All right, so the starting position for this exercise is this position that I'm in right here, standing on your operated leg. Your good leg is just bent at the knee with your toes touching on the ground right behind you, right? This is the start position. Your reach leg is actually your good leg or the non-operated side. And with this one, when I say reach, that means you're going to reach to the side and to the back like that. All right, your other hand you can just put on your waist, uh, on your uh, hip if you want. So again, reaching to the side and to the back. A couple rules with this one. Every time you reach to the side, you can come back to that starting position for balance, touch that toe down, and then reach to the back. Uh, also, when you reach, you want to make sure that this reach leg, that the toes are staying as close to the ground the entire time you're reaching, um, and then again coming back to that start position. If your toes are staying as close to the ground as they can, then I know that you're bending and straightening that operated leg like I want you to. Sometimes uh, I give my patient this exercise to do and I tell them go home and start doing this one and when they come back and I check it, this is what it looks like. This is what they're doing. They're just reaching that leg out to the side like that and reaching the leg back without bending and straightening that operated leg. So the most important part is keeping those toes close to the ground so that your operated leg is bending and straightening like mine. All right? And then also going back. All right, so let me just show you from the side so you can see. As I reach with my good leg, my operated knee has to bend and straighten. And same thing, as I reach to the back, that operated leg that I'm standing on is bending and straightening like that. Once to the side and then once to the back counts as one repetition. So there's one, two, and that's three. Uh, make sure that you are reaching um, as far as you can comfortably but not losing your balance. So if you reach this far and it causes any sharp pain in that knee or you just cannot keep your balance, then you're reaching too far and just shorten that up a little bit. Just don't reach quite as far. Um, also with this one, try not to touch your toe out here, but you can touch your toe back in that start position to gain your balance back. 
So again, that's what it looks like if you reach, if you're just not reaching quite as far. But I want you to reach as far as you can without causing pain and without losing your balance. Now you have all the exercises that you need for this exercise program. For this exercise, I also want you to do three sets of 10 to 15 rep repetitions, uh, like most of the other exercises in this program. That single leg stance, or that standing on one leg for balance, you're doing fewer repetitions of that one, um, just because it takes a lot more time, because uh, you're holding that for a certain amount of time. Um, but three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions for this one. Make sure you're safe, make sure that if you are going to lose your balance, you have something to hold on to. Um, I wouldn't want you to um, fall or stumble, so that's the most important thing uh, with this exercise is that you just do it next to something so um, that you have something to hold on to. Don't forget about ice and that bike still if that's been helping you. And um, that's it. So just get started in this next program and uh, let's see if we just can't get you back to doing what you need to do. Be nice to that knee throughout this process. Uh, don't cause any pain, any typical knee pain or sharp knee pain. If you are, just adjust the exercises a little bit until you can do them without the pain. And don't forget to follow up with your doctor.